Hi, my name is Jason Munyon, and I work in the Office of the Secretary General's Envoy in Technology. And it's a pleasure to join you and share a quick update since the first open consultations and MAG meeting in February. There are a couple notable events where we provided updates to member states and other stakeholders. Our office worked closely with the Office of the President of the General Assembly to prepare for the high-level thematic debate on digital cooperation and connectivity. We also organized an update during the Science, Technology, and Innovation Forum. Videos of these events are available online from UN Web TV. In conjunction with these events, our office launched a website, which you can find at un.org slash techenvoy. We will continue to keep this website and our social media accounts updated with information on key events and activities of our office. This includes initial action plans for several of the recommendation areas of the Roadmap for Digital Cooperation. On the website, you can also find a brief report with highlights of Roadmap implementation to date. The Office continues to coordinate implementation of the Roadmap along the main areas, working closely with other UN entity champions and stakeholders. In the area of global connectivity, a multi-stakeholder working group is working on developing a baseline framework for universal, affordable, and meaningful digital connectivity. Progress is also being made by the GIGA initiative. In the area of digital public goods, we are continuing to support the Digital Public Goods Alliance in aligning its five-year strategy plan with the roadmap and discussions with other stakeholders on various initiatives. In digital inclusion, there is ongoing work to develop a definition and framework for metrics. The experience with the newly launched Coalition on Technology and Innovation for Gender Equality will guide efforts to set up other coalitions and an overall network of networks. And with the Development Coordination Office and other agencies, we are supporting resident coordinators and country teams in the field. In the area of digital capacity building, we launched the platform digital-capacity.org, which is a capacity building platform as well as a joint facility. And in the area of digital human rights, we are working with United Nations actors on a one-stop digital shop or hub on human rights and digital te technologies, as well as system-wide guidance on human rights due diligence and impact assessments in the use of new technologies. We have engaged in various UN system-wide actions, including with social media companies on hate speech, how to support civil society participation online, including through UN offices globally, and supporting civil society engagement and feedback in these processes, including through the Roundtable on Digital Human Rights and uh, with the input from various IGF MAG members. We have also had engagements with RightCon, RightsCon and the Human Rights Council. In the area of artificial intelligence, we are continuing to discuss with various stakeholders the establishment of a multi-stakeholder advisory body on global AI cooperation. In digital trust and security, we continue to explore with member states and stakeholders a possible global statement. And in global digital cooperation, as many of you may be familiar, we had an open consultation on the proposed multi-stakeholder high-level body. Uh, many of you provided written submissions to a questionnaire, and UNDESA, the IGF Secretariat, and our office prepared a draft proposed approach, and we presented it at a briefing where many people provided reactions. Um, looking at other areas, uh, we, are also, we were also excited uh, to see the launch of the Coalition for Digital Environmental Sustainability, or CODES, and the IGF Policy Network on the Environment. And we are encouraged to see uh, strong engagement in this important area. And looking ahead, uh, the IGF Secretariat and MAG have already made considerable efforts to implement the roadmap recommendations, particularly those related to um, strengthening the IGF. Uh, the MAG has made implementation of the Roadmap for Digital Cooperation a priority, and the IGF 2021 uh, main focus areas and emerging and cross-cutting issue areas are directly related to the Roadmap. Our office looks forward to continued close collaboration with the IGF Secretariat and the MAG and its working group on strategy and strengthening. We are seeking to support linkages between the Roadmap implementation and the IGF, such as through the proposed mapping exercise. We appreciate the many people from all stakeholder groups who have been engaged in roadmap implementation and have provided inputs to date. 
We welcome your ideas and we look forward to continued collaboration in the lead up to the 2021 IGF. Thank you very much.